Hello, hello. All right, today I'm going to go over Dante's abilities, beginner builds, weapon options, and his main builds. So, Dante's first ability is Noctua. It is an exalted weapon similar to the Grimoire, except they're going to hold more tome mods and does more damage. It has a bar to charge up the alt fire, and the bar raises passively, but it raises faster on hits. Um, Dante's second ability is Light Verse. It grants a small amount of overguard to you and allies in its radius. Dante's third ability is Dark Verse. It's a line of sight based AoE that will inflict slash damage on enemies. Dante's final ability is Final Verse, which has four sub abilities. Firstly, Triumph, composed with two Light Verses. It gives Dante and his allies a good amount of overguard and overguard regeneration on kills and kill assists. Secondly, Tragedy, composed with two Dark Verses. It'll explode all statuses on any enemies in line of sight in an ability radius. Thirdly, Word Warden, composed of a Light Verse and a Dark Verse, will give Dante and all of his allies a floating Noctua that will attack with them whenever they shoot. It is not affected by multi-shot or fire rate, and by my testing, also not by Galvanized Shots Conditional or Pistol Elementalist. Lastly, Page Flight, composed of Dark Verse and Light Verse, will spawn multiple birds that attack enemies, giving both status vulnerability and increasing status damage on them. Dante, if you're a beginner, and you have zero forma, this is probably something like what, what your build would look like. Um, you can replace growing power with steel charge. It'll be probably less platinum, and it'll give you a bit more capacity. But growing power will obviously give you more strength, and uh, you shouldn't need the capacity. This should be zero forma, and you should be able to fit it within your capacity. The upgrades would be, you'd be able to upgrade equilibrium to max, which would give you more energy. Um, that would be good if you're doing more of a tragedy spam. Uh, you can upgrade transient fortitude to max at low cost to your duration to increase your strength. Um, and then finally, you can upgrade blind rage to max, but I would only recommend doing this after you've upgraded equilibrium, right? I would not upgrade this first before equilibrium. All right. So since you have no helminth, you'll be using the Noctua. This is what I recommend for a beginner build. You can pull this off with zero forma, with exactly zero capacity left. All right. This is assuming you have no galvanized mods, just really basic, easy to get mods. All right. All right. So the way you'll be playing it is if you have access to the focus schools, then you should use Matter Eye. If you want to use Zenerik, you absolutely can for the Wellspring. If you are using Matter Eye, it means that you'll have to do a double sling before you start casting your abilities. Um, you will want to drop Page Flight, and then you'll want to drop Word Warden. Then you activate your Noctua, and you start shooting things. All the enemies died from my companion. This will do fairly good damage. Um, it will do very good in the beginning of the game. And it is fairly fun to play. The alternative to using the Noctua as more of a weapon is to instead use Tragedy Spam. If you're going to do this, you absolutely can use the Noctua, right? But you might want to replace one of these with Zata for energy or with Netra for efficiency. If you have neither of those, I would maybe wait until you get the Helmet and swap to more of a Nourish build. This will require Forma, but honestly, if you just want to put Nourish on this beginner build, that's also fine, right? You just might have to recast it often. Um, if you do decide to go the route of doing Tragedy Spam, which is perfectly fine, then what I would recommend is still remembering to drop your buffs, because if you use Page Flight, then your Tragedy will do a lot more damage, even being able to one-shot level 125 units. Right. As far as companions go when you're beginning, I would just recommend trying to get a companion that can run Synth Deconstruct. Right? So like you want to try and get Synth Deconstruct because it will drop energy or orb, uh, health orbs, which can be converted to energy with equilibrium. Right? So like you could use a Cabral, um, you could use a Panzer. The Panzer is probably easier to get earlier in the game as long as you have access to sun at the Necrolisk. Um, either way, either of those work, right? Whatever can possibly get constant abilities and constantly tag people 
uh, will be fine. This one, the main downside is low range, but I like it the most. It's running a mecha mod, which means you'll nuke whether you use tragedy or whether you use a weapons platform build. The issue with that is you have to run a companion that's also using mecha and that can also kill, like a Cabral, maybe Hurus. Um, but it has fairly medium other stats and high duration. I personally run high efficiency with Energize because you never run into energy problems. And running Synthi Construct on Hurus can sometimes be a little iffy um, because you don't want to run Panzer as much. But if you do it correctly, um, you can nuke extremely well far, far into the levels. And on top of that, it doesn't even have to be you. Your companion can nuke for you, right? So like if you just stand still with your buffs up, your companion will eventually just kill everything, right? And this can get a pretty decent kills per minute in like conjunction survival AFK. But this builds not only for nuking with tragedy, you can also use your weapons. So like I've showed the Torrid, you can use that same exact build for this, right? And with your Cabral, it just does absurd damage. And since you have Energize, you don't need to run a Panzer, right? And so you're doing absurd damage and it's doing absurd damage. You have Mecha, you're nuking everything, even without line of sight, if you just kill the targeted enemy, or even if you just shoot and you don't worry where you're aiming, it'll kill everything. Actual build is more of a sweaty one. Uh, this is very similar, but it has higher range, lower duration, similar efficiency, higher strength, right? And this might be, you might think it's a very low amount of strength, but in reality, just 50 strength on Dante can like double his damage, right? Because you're buffing Roar and you're buffing Page Flight and you're buffing Dark Verse and you're buffing Tragedy. Um, when you use something like this, it's just absurd, right? So like if you pop your buffs um, and then you try to nuke, everything will just die, right? Like it's, it, it, it'll last, it'll scale very high. The main issue is you have to recast every so often, right? The not super horrible part about it is it coincides with your duration for renewing your Matarai. So you already have to renew your Matarai on the other duration build anyway, every 20 seconds. And so doing Roar every 20 seconds isn't horrible, but I don't personally find it as fun, though it will be more DPS, it will be more damage, whether it's with your Tragedy or a Weapon Platformer build um, this can definitely be improved using a few more forma uh, you can replace this for a mecha or for something else if you so like you can replace fleeting expertise for something to increase duration or even strength if you wanted to uh, I personally would not want to run efficiency lower because it just makes playing Dante feel so much worse um, but you absolutely can if you want to this build is mainly for people who do not have energize but it's not the worst thing in the world because you can place energize, replace Energize with Vigor and that can still help you get more damage on your Roar and your Page Fly. So the Rain Dance will look a little differently. Um, instead of just popping this once, you have to pop the ability before you do Roar and then you'll have to pop it again before you do Page Fly, right? Um, and then from there, you know, you just drop it at any time and it does good damage. It's it's, it's similar probably to the second one because you have Molt Vigor to buff as well. Um, so it's not the worst. It's certainly all right, but duration is low. Um, it, this is more for people who don't have Energize. Uh, you also need to run Synthi Construct on your uh, companion. I would highly recommend it. So this is my general build for the Cabral, right? Um, if you wanted to do more of a weapon platform build, you could absolutely use a Panzer, right? And that will be even more health orbs dropped. Um, and, you know, Seismic Bond won't really work because you don't have a channeled ability. But it, it'll still work all right. It'll definitely be better for a weapons platformer. But you can do that with both builds. This one is just more for people who do not have Energize, right? It's an expensive arcane. I get it. Let me talk about weapons platforming with these two different builds. So with the Roar Casual build, 
using mecha and your companion to kill a lot more often than equilibrium but at the same time you're not buffing as much right so with this build you're getting the random kills from your cabral but with this build you're getting more direct weapon damage because you're using a panzer that's shooting out viral quills and you still have all right energy because you're using equilibrium with synthy construct right so i'll show the torrid with each and then maybe a glaive or two right so with the equilibrium with the panzer right just make sure you're running viral quills synth deconstruct um your claws i would just recommend frenzied posture so it hits as many things as possible for your synth deconstruct but you can do what you want um as far as it goes it's the same as earlier your rain dance is the same uh, all you have to do is drop your buffs um cast your ability roar page flight word warden and then you shoot things right and they die fairly quickly even non incarnate and torrid right and then you know everything just dies your rod weapon damage is absurd you have overguard this is spreading viral everywhere there's plenty of energy orbs on the floor your energy will be perfectly fine um, but the other one is the War Casual. This one, instead of running the Panzer, you're running your Cabral, right? I personally run Hurris. You can run Chessa if you want more loot, whatever you want to do. Um, just make sure you're running the Mecha Mod. And then I would recommend Contagious Bond. Um, you can add in other things, like you obviously want Tenacious Bond. Um, you can use Duplex, but your energy should not be an issue at all, um, right? Claws, I would run something like this. Persistent is fine. Assassin is also fine. Frenzy is generally not good since you want your companion to kill something for Contagious to work. But mm, do what you want, right? Um, same Torrid. Simple build, right? Um, this one, the buffs last longer. And the Rain Dance is shorter, right? So you just... And then you don't have to recast these until you're done, right? And it still kills fairly quick. Um, if you just shoot randomly, it'll still do all right. If you specifically target the mecha person, the person targeted by the mecha set, then obviously it'll kill groups quicker, right? Like if I specifically hunt out whoever has it, I will kill them. Ah, see, here he has it, right? and then everything will die much quicker. But you don't really have to, right? You already have an absurd amount of buffs. If you're using something like the Torrid, you can just kill everything, right? Um, you have Overguard, you have your companion, and your companion will get plenty of kills, right? Both do all right. Whichever one you pick is up to you, whether you want your companion to kill things and whether you want that random nuke or whether you want that more weapon damage, right? It depends on what level you're going to, what content you're doing, etc. I normally recommend this for weapons platforming, just because recasting every so often is really sucky. Um, but, you know, run whichever you want, modify the builds however you want, whatever you want to do. So Dante is an all-around buffer, so like he buffs statuses, he can buff damage with Roar, right? Um, and he doesn't get knocked back because he has Overguard. So you can use a lot of different melee weapons. My favorite is Glaive Prime because you have that slash damage that goes through armor. And you can use Tragedy with it to do Absurd damage. So Absurd, I can't showcase it in the simul Simulacrum right now. But I'll have a screenshot of me doing 2.1 billion damage. With tragedy on screen with the glaive prime but i mean it is fairly funny um if you just pop your buffs um even with no galvanized stacks like it, it just does absurd damage right like and once you have those stacks it'll do even more damage so now that we have those galvanized stacks right like 
it just one taps everything right those dots are absurd but there are still other weapons that are good like if you use a falcor it has high impact and it can run melee influence right so like your falcor can still one shot things right like you can still pop your stuff and then throw it and it'll kill stuff right like everything will die um, and then once your galvanize is built up you can just one shot everything right like it just all dies right and influence will make it spread very far um, my falcor looks like this influence ideally you want r5 the glaive is um is a little different i have a ribbon on it it's not the greatest ribbon but it pushes me to six times permanent and it's a little extra critical chance just below enough for melee duplicate um overall i would say the falcor is generally better because the falcor with this you can already take to level cap and it still does enough damage like it still one shot stuff in level cap and you have influence to do more range um, the glaive prime is really only if you're doing demos because you can throw it so like the combo is basically you do your dark verses before you throw your glaive prime because your glaive prime does a little bit too much damage so i do my tragedy then i throw it detonate and then yeah okay well i can't show it because i do too much damage but um i'll purposely lower it and hit an integer cap in a little bit all right so this is me in post i uh I hit the integer cap. I had to lower my damage, but then I replaced my Riven with Power Throw, just so it was achievable for others as well. Um, but I had to get my damage a little low so that I could actually manage to hit the tragedy. Okay, this build definitely has room to grow, right? Like you can add in Power Drift for more strength. There are other things you can do, not particularly attached to it, because um, I don't really use the Noctua much. Um, I would recommend Avenger and Velocity, but if you don't have them, that's fine, right? Um, you can run efficiency as an entire dump stat because you're not spamming tragedy and you have equilibrium and your panzer is giving plenty and plenty of energy, right? So you should run a panzer with this because it'll spread viral and you'll be able to get synth deconstruct, which is just a major bonus to your Noctua, right? Uh, it'll just make you have so much more fun. You can run the mecha set if you want those unexpected nukes since you aren't using Roar, um, but I mean, you're only really using this for fun, right? Like it's not, it, it's not super meta, it's just, it's fun, right? So like, it can kill things, right? Like these enemies, they will certainly die if I do my buffs and then I use my Noctua, they will die, right? Like it's a guarantee it's, it's not the worst. Uh, you, you can do things with it, right? Like, it's it's all right. But, like, if you compare it, right? Like, if I used my sweaty tryhard build with an unmodded Lado, right? And I ran a Word Warden build instead, um, it might be able to kill faster, right? Like, which is pretty silly, right? But, like, if I just pop my buffs, and then use Word Warden, right, in an unmodded Lado, right, like this, this kills in a similar speed to a Noctua, right, like, and I'm, I'm not nuking, if I swap this out for my Cabral, it could probably also kill quicker than the Noctua, right, like, the Noctua's fun, right, like, it's a fun thing to use, um, so if you're using it, that's perfectly fine, know that this build specifically has room to grow, right? Like you can probably do a little bit better. You can squeeze more out of it, um, but it won't approach these types of builds with more meta weapons, right? Alternatives like with Archon Shards, with your Focus School and your Helminth, right? So I really recommend Roar because it helps your damage so much. But if you wanted to use something like Nourish, you can, right? Like, uh, you can get all right energy with this. 
Um, especially if you ran something like Xeneric, right? Like you will get stuff in the meantime. Um, if you run your Bellspring with Nourish, you can get all right energy, but it's just a lot less damage than Roar. So like, um, you can no longer get that 40% that's constantly up, which means that your damage is gonna be a lot worse. And on top of that, you don't have Roar, which is like, it's all right. You can use it. It'll last a while. You might even be able to use it like in Metro Cells or something. But beyond that, it's not super usable. Um, but it's definitely an option, right? Like Nourish, you'll have plenty of energy, even without Energize. But ultimately, if you don't have Energize, I would just recommend running Equilibrium instead of running Nourish, right? Like Roar is just too good. But Nourish is always there, right? Um, as far as Archon Shards go, uh, two Tau Yellows for casting speed, and then three Tau Reds for ability strength is what I rock. Um, you can run full five Tau ability strength, and you might be able to squeeze out a little bit more damage. I wouldn't say run too much casting speed, because you're, if you're running Matarai, you're already getting that 50%, or yeah, I think it's 50%, from doing this, right? So now your casting speed's already fairly quick, in my opinion. So I don't think you need more than two, but if you want to run more than two, you can. Um, if you wanted to run solely a primer with Word Warden for some funny reason, you could do like green shards. Um, but that's more of like a meme build. That's not really what I would recommend. Show how Dante is. Um, just gonna pop him to an exterminate because why not? There are obviously better frames for exterminate like Neja with Sunder can nuke everything at a 40 meter radius and is much faster. <clears throat> Dante's big issue is his speed. He's just not the fastest frame, right? And like, there's not much you can do about that. Uh, I don't think anyone's throwing Molt on Dante or anything. Uh, I do have Amalgam on my, um, my Lado, but I mean, there's not much else you can do. You still kill things just fine. Right? Like, it's not a big deal. Um, it's just not the highest KPM. But you're not in danger of death at any time. You're not in danger of not doing enough damage. Um, you're not in danger of any of that. You're not in danger of your energy running out. Um, it, it's just like a walk in the park, right? Like, you're, you're just strolling around, killing enemies. Just, just chilling, you know? Like, it's... Everything just, just dies as you go past it. You're like the reaper of death. Um, but like I said, this KPM isn't that great. If you run like a Sunder Neja or like a Mirage or, you know, something of the sort, you will get more KPM. Like, like Saren sitting in defense, more KPM. Like this is not the highest KPM frame in the game. But his kills and his survivability scale to level cap, which is what makes him so good, right? And um, the fact that you can just have infinite energy, you can live forever, you can solo a bunch of content in the game with just no problem whatsoever is just great, right? Like, and you can constantly cast his abilities with no problem, right? Like, who needs other weapons? Who needs to camp? Just, just a pure caster frame, uh, and it's very fun. Um, it is very fun, but at the same time, it might not be for you, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, if you decide you want to weapons platform or something of the sort, you certainly can swap over. Even mid mission, you can be like, "Oh, I want to hit things with Tord instead," right? Like, you can. Um, and things will still die. Right, like it is absolutely no problem to just kill everything, right? And I mean, it's not the fastest exterminate. I wasn't sweating or anything, but it was extremely casual, right? Like you, you have to do almost nothing. Alright, once again, me and Post, this is a quick compilation of me just 
killing with Cabral solo in a conjunction survival. All you have to do is pop your buffs and then you just group. You can just spam Magus Anomaly and everything will just come together and then just die. Just to show how good Dante is, um, there's the Knife Step, Energy Exhaustion, Lethargic Shields, and Transferous Distortion. Transferous Distortion is the only real bad one because Hurst will make you invisible, meaning you do not get Energy Exhaustion near enemies. Um, but Transference Distortion is less casting speed and less ability strength, which is pretty sad. But um, it's not the other world. You know, Dante is broken. I get it. Our first enemies. So, obviously, going to want to pop Overguard. Going to want to self buff. Can't go into Operator, but uh, not a huge deal, right? Um, everything will just die. Um, hopefully we can get a key soon ideally I would also like to proc energize there we go alright so now that we have energize we just need to dock it We could honestly sit AFK if we really wanted, but I'm not particularly fond of that. Here's our docket. So now let's go kill our demo. Um, no transference, so once again, missing out on a 40% buff. But still, it's not the end of the world, right? Like, we'll be all right. So even doing solo EDA, um, you really will never run out of energy. If you do, your companion can kill stuff, grab more for you. You're practically invincible. You can solo kill demos. Um, it, it's just absurd, right? Like, he can solo complete EDA each week with no problems, right? Like, that's, that's just silly. Let's talk about Dante's place in the meta. Dante is three main things to me. He is a solo frame, he is a ditto, and he is an alleviator. So Dante can solo content. Almost any content in the game, whether that's EDA, level cap, you name it, right? He can solo it. He can also replace roles in content. Almost any role uh, he can replace, right? Like he's not a looting frame, he has some CC with page fight, but about Everything else he can do. He can be a damage buffer. He can help survive ability. He can nuke. He can be a weapons platformer. He can do all of those things, right? But the last thing is probably the most important. Warframe is a team game, and alleviating roles of others is just so nice. Having a Dante in your team means that you have to do less work. If you are a nuker, you have to get less kills. If you are a damage buffer, you only have to buff less or have to cover less area. If you are a person that is a weapons platformer, you are getting more buffs, making your life easier, right? Dante makes every single person in the party have an easier time, and that's why he's so good, right? If you're looking to solo content, Dante can absolutely do it, right? Dante, he can kill groups of enemies with whatever you want. He can kill groups of enemies with an unmodded Lado, right? Like, it, it's, it, he can do it, right? Like, he, he can do whatever you want him to do. But at the same time, he won't be the best at it, right? There are frames that can kill faster. There are frames that will give you more survivability. There are frames that can do more. But ultimately, Dante is like a ditto. He can replace roles in content and he can alleviate roles in content, right? And that is what makes him so strong. That is why I would recommend him. If you want to be the strongest nuker, I wouldn't play Dante.
I'd play maybe Sevagoth or Saren. You want to have the best survivability? Maybe look into playing Rev. But if you want to make everyone around you have an easier life, I would highly recommend Dante. And that is all.